What's up guys, Earl here if you get tagged. And did you know, before a smartphone put to the market, it needs to undergo certification for various sectors. One of which is the TUV Rainland certification most commonly referred as eye comfort certification, which means that the device's screen has been tested and certified to meet the market's current safety and quality standards. But what is a TUV Rainland certification? And is it important for us consumers? Let's all find out. Tough Greenland inspects technical equipment, products, and services, oversees projects, and helps shape companies' process and information security. It also employs a global network of approved labs, testing, and education centers. Established in 1991, Tough Greenland Philippines incorporated ventures into electrical product safety testing in 2006 to assist the Philippine government in its testing needs and support local industries in accessing the world market. It achieved its ISO IEC 17. 1025 accreditation to test various household appliances, audio video products, and luminaires from the Department of Trade and Industry or DTI and Philippine Accreditation Office. Tough Rainland offers multiple certification depending on what it is testing and auditing. It includes vehicle, commodities and consumer goods, infrastructure, systems and processes, occupational health and safety, and information security and telecoms. One of the most common you'll see is the Tav Rayland Eye Comfort Certification for displays, but it also has a certification for smartphones which we'll discuss in this video. If an organization wants to show the market and its consumers that its product or system meet the global standard for quality, it will work with Tav Rayland to have it tested and audited. A product certificate will be issued if it passes, which confirms that the product meets defined criteria and defined safety relevant aspects. According to an end consumer survey, almost 90% of respondents prefer manufacturer advertising statements to be neutrally reviewed and confirmed. When it comes to smartphones, Tav Greenland has the Smartphone High Reliability Certification which was created in collaboration with Realme. The two companies created standard procedures that will be used for quality control and testing across all Realme smartphones. Also, the certification serves as the new quality standard for smartphones in major markets worldwide. Tov Greenland Smartphone High Reliability Certification process encompasses 23 major tests, including 10 daily use test scenarios such as drop, wear and tear, 7 extreme environment test scenarios including super extreme temperature, extreme humidity, voltage fluctuation, button life, static electricity, air pressure, and six component reliability test scenarios. The first smartphones to get certified are the new Realme C25 and Realme C21. According to Realme, there are six stages smartphone design processes on how smartphones are designed, developed, and tested in Realme's facility. The quality control team is 100% involved in every step of quality checking. If the product fails to meet the set standards, the quality control team has the prerogative to redesign the product from scratch. Realme also takes steps to understand how digital natives use smartphones by reaching out to customers and fans to conduct product experience surveys and getting feedback during the mid-product life cycle. This provides Realme with data to help it design high-quality smartphones that fit into its consumers' lifestyle. For instance, since young users prefer traveling and sport, it designed its devices to withstand accidental drops in popular outdoor sports such as skateboarding and parking. The products go through more aggressive drop tests at a height up to 1.8 meters at multiple sites on different surface materials. Realme also simulates extreme temperature from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius in an outdoor environmental setting to make sure that the Realme products can remain to function well. Realme said that it has been investing in a smart factory that aims to be fully automated in the future. And through it, the company can improve the efficiency and precision of its complex manufacturing process. One such automation example is the SMT production line, responsible for putting components on the PCB motherboard. The smart factory's current automation rate is 87.5%, which is already way above industry standard. With the AI automation capability, the current Realme AI smart factory can produce 60 million devices every year. In essence, Realme and Tov Rayland collaboration will benefit the smartphone market as it aims to improve the standards 
currently used in the industry and raise the quality of entry-level models to flagship standards. Both companies also hope to improve the smartphone experience during its initial three-year life cycle. Now to conclude this video, Realme took extra measures to ensure the durability of their smartphone to suit what us, the consumers, are clamping down on. With their collaboration with Tough Rayland, Realme will bring on devices that can overcome basic to severe wear and tear. So what do you guys think, especially for you Realme fans out there, about this collaboration of Realme and Tough Rayland to improve its products? Let us know in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so never miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit UVTech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Rel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.